Patriots. Let's chat. So, listen, I hope y'all had a great weekend. I did. I really enjoyed my weekend. I didn't do too much. Um, but that's exactly what I needed to do, right? Because when I have a little free time, it put me in a different mindset and it made me um, start contemplating a lot of things, right? So, this is what I've been thinking about this weekend. And I said, you know, oftentimes the people who seem to um, maybe disappoint us or shock us with something, why is it that those are people that we, you know, had some level of respect for usually? So that's why the disappointment and, and the hurt and the anger, like it, it really shines through because for some reason these are people who are you know were active in our life in some type of way you know or either they just had to be in our life some type of way maybe they are related to you or something like that but nevertheless you probably had some level of respect for these people and then they turn around and hurt you or betray you or something of that nature. And then it's almost like there's a there's an element of surprise there. Why is that? So what I thought about was the fact that just because you respect the person maybe even admire them maybe you even like them in some type of way right that could be your friend that could be you know somebody that's related to you that could be a significant other but just because there's a like there a respect there it doesn't mean that you can trust them and that is a lesson that I think we all have learned the hard way in one way, shape, or form. Yes, they were good as a friend, right? You can go to them, talk to them about anything. They were a great shoulder to lean on. Maybe they even kept a few of your secrets. Still don't make them trustworthy. Maybe that's your parent, right? Or your child. You love them with everything in you. Don't mean you could trust them. That's your significant other. Y'all do all kind of things, spend time together, whatever it is y'all are titled. Don't mean you could trust them. And so a person may argue with me and say, well, why are they your significant other if you can't trust them? Why are they your friend if you can't trust them? Because it's other things that you like about them. That's why. It's other things that you like about them. There may be other things that you love about them. Right? And that's where the lines start to cross. Because just because you love them and just because you like them, you start to think that they check off every box. And no, they may not check off every box. They may check off 10 of the boxes. But when it comes to can you really trust them, you may not be able to check off that box. And that is the tricky part of people. And that's the tricky part of relationships and being disappointed and maybe being where you feel like you were betrayed or something at some point. The reality is that you trusted somebody that you shouldn't have trusted them. Maybe you can like them. Maybe you can spend some time around them. But that do not mean you can trust these people. And... <laughs> See, your parents and your kids, you can't necessarily pick them, per se, right? 
So you you stuck dealing with whatever their personality traits may be. You have to deal with that. But just because you have to deal with it, it don't mean that when you get to a certain age that you shouldn't be a free thinker. Now, if you know every chance your mama, your sister, your cousin, your homegirl get, she looking for a free ride, she looking for the get over, she looking for, you know, something, something slick. Why would you trust them? Why would you say in your heart and in your mind, I can trust them? Because given the right situation, and the right opportunity, you can't trust them. That's just the reality of it. That don't mean that she don't love you. That don't mean that you don't love her. But when people show you certain characteristics, certain things that they may have done to other people, or you may have just watched them in action moving around, a lot of times people give you telltale signs that you can't trust them. I can hang with you. We could go out. We could go do brunch. We could go to church together. We could do a lot of things together. But I cannot trust you. And maybe, and you being real generous if you say, well, I trust them to a certain degree. Because a lot of times, you know, that's what we do. We may trust them to a certain degree. Like if we know they steal, for instance, right? We know they a booster. We just feel like they ain't going to try, try us. But then as soon as something get mixed and as soon in your mind and in your heart, what come up first? That that person was around your purse or that person being in the atmosphere. So it's a little something you already that's tapped in. But not all the way. You give them a little benefit of the doubt. And that's why you even allow them to be in your space where they ever even able to try you. Because you really be feeling like, oh, I can kind of trust them. Well, that is the chance that you're taking. Listen, same when you're dealing with a man and he has somebody or he's married. You like him. He put it on thick. He put it on thick. He at you. You know, he's saying he finna leave, blah, blah, blah. And maybe he do leave. Maybe he is showing you that he really cares about you and he loves you. Can you trust him though? Because you already watched him in action. You, you already know that he'll tell a lie to get away. You already know that he's supposed to be um, at work or making moves, running around, and he at your house with you. But she think he's out of town on business, or he's, or she think he's just, you know, going to pick up the kids from school. To, but he done made sure to slide by, and, and, and y'all do y'all love one too. So even in the event that one day you and him, y'all start to kick it together, just you and him or whatever. Can you trust him? It seems easy enough. Right? It seems like it's just like, of course you know you can't trust him. Until you're in that situation. Until you're in that situation. Then, for some reason, you go to feeling like you could trust him. You go to putting things past him. Oh, he wouldn't do that. Oh, he. Girl, he was living with a woman messing with you. Ain't nothing he won't do if that opportunity presents itself. And that's just, he just want to move around like that. It don't, ha it don't have to be anything that you've done wrong. It's all about his character. That's just who he is. And he's already shown you that given the right situation, he'll move around. But because once you and him, once you get your feelings to a certain level with this dude, 
you start thinking that because you like them, because you're not fell in love with them, now you could trust them. And that's and that's right where you go wrong at. And you can you can put that same scenario on a million different other things. But that's really what it comes down to. Is that just because you like them, just because you love them, just because y'all have a history, just because you stuck with them, y'all blood, it just does not mean that you can trust them. And I honestly don't think that you, I don't think that, you know, when people end up doing stuff to you, um, and it hurts you. I don't think it hurts you because you love them. I think it hurts you because you trusted them. You put it past them. You thought they wouldn't do that to you. That's where the disappointment and the, uh, the grief comes in. It's not about the fact that you love them because guess what? Even after they do it, you still love them. You still love them. Because love and light just don't disappear. You know, now, maybe if that's your homegirl or somebody that you have not been intimate with, you may be able to, you know, cut her off a little more easier, right? Because y'all don't have certain connections. So you may be able to send her on her way. But even when you send her on her way, that don't mean that you don't miss your friends sometimes. Because you do miss your friends sometimes. Whatever it is you and her used to connect and bond on, you miss doing that sometimes. Maybe that was your person that you talked to on the phone every day. Maybe that was your homegirl that you went shopping with or that y'all went out to eat once a week or whatever. When you have to disconnect that friendship, you miss whatever it was that y'all used to do. You do miss that. And everybody in every situation isn't easily replaceable. You know what I'm saying? So just because you and her did that, that don't mean that, oh, well, now me and such and such can start doing that. No, because maybe such and such don't never have no money to go nowhere, so you and her ain't going to start doing that. So you miss your homegirl who sometimes she treats, sometimes you treat, sometimes y'all just, you know, bust it down or whatever. You you will miss that when you have to disconnect from, from them. Right? So it's not just that you know, it's not about you not loving them and it's not the love or the like. It's the fact that you really trusted them in a way that you probably should not have trusted them. And I think that to a certain de degree, you almost have to deal with everybody in your life. Like, you know that. Should the situation or circumstance present, there's a chance that they will make a decision that you don't like or that could affect you or that could hurt you, that could uh, disappoint you or that you could even look at as a form of betrayal. You know, um, cause I can't sit here and just say that, oh, I have never did anything that I never thought I would do. Yeah, I have, you know, um, and when I think back to certain things that I may have done, it usually was in the, when I was in a situation that I never thought I would be in too. You know what I'm saying? Like. I never thought that, you know, I might just start liking this particular person. So then I made a decision that it may have hurt somebody else. But I never thought I would like them. Never thought I would be attracted to them. Never thought this. Never thought that. You know, never thought maybe, hey, you would get older and you would be alone. And then not this person that maybe you always want to talk to. Here they come. And, da -da -da, you know, like... Certain situations you can't even predict because you haven't been in those situations to say what you're going to do when you 
should it present itself. You could say, oh, I would never do this. I would never do that. Yeah, only because the right situation and circumstances has not presented itself to you. Now, do I believe there are things that everybody know ain't no way in the world I could ever, ever? Yes, of course, there are some things that you just know. No, I would never do that. But if you honest with yourself, it's some things you done already did that you didn't think you would do. It's some people you already have dealt with that you didn't never think you might would deal with them. It's people that became best friends that y'all never thought y'all would um, be friends. Y'all might didn't even used to like each other at one point in time. So anytime you're dealing with people, you have to be mindful for that. Just as sure as situations change, circumstances change, people change, they life, you know, maybe they was married the first 20 years of their life. Now they got a divorce later in life and you like, oh, look how she moving around. Yeah, because she didn't, she different. You, she didn't think she was going to be um, single at this age and stage of her life. And she been married since she was a teenager. So this freedom for her. So, yeah, she, she dressing a little different. She moving a little different. No, you never thought you would see her out with booty shorts on. She never had the opportunity to be out with booty shorts on, though, neither. Now she her age, she's still fine, and she moving around how she want to move around. So I just think that's something that, you know, we have to really be mindful of. That the, the way life changes People change. Their hearts, their minds, situations, circumstances change. And you can easily find yourself doing something that you never thought you would do. Totally going against the grain sometimes. And for me, like, when I really sat down thinking about that, like, yeah, I trust the people I shouldn't have trusted. Because... Had I not trusted that person like that, when they turned around and did what they did, I wouldn't have been so disappointed. Because I already, I, I know you do stuff like that. I watched you do it. Not then when it happened, then when you do it to me, I'm in shock. Why? How? That does not make sense. Because you started letting your feelings and your respect for that person overweigh the fact that you really know them you know them for real and you know what they character like you know you can't trust them when it comes to x y or z right now you might can trust them in some areas but when it comes to certain things especially when they done already showed you stop forgetting mm -hmm. stop forgetting that those people are the people that you know them to be. Now, sometimes you may meet a new person and you don't necessarily really know their history, you know, but that's why you pay attention when y'all having conversations. That's why you really pay attention, right? And that's why you always remember how y'all started out. See, a lot of times, especially these days and times, you know, I have heard women say, well, you know, well, I don't owe her nothing um, when it comes to, you know, dating a man who has a wife or has a girlfriend or somebody. I don't owe her nothing. He owe her. Um, he, had, he made vows to her, you know, so he the one who owe her. The, yeah, you know what? All that sound good until you become the woman on the other end of that. At the point where you on the other end of that, now you want that person to show you some respect, don't you? Mm -hmm. Now you can't believe that she would be dealing with him knowing that. Well, is it possible that you have done the same thing, Miss Lady? Is it possible? Well, I didn't know. Well, guess what? A lot of times you do deal with a man and you might not know what he has going on. But you know, when you found out, you may not have left him alone. You know that. Or maybe if it wasn't you, you know, you had a homegirl or somebody that had it, that was moving around like that. 
and you didn't necessarily discourage her to do it. To, to you didn't discourage her, you, you know, like you didn't um, try to discourage her from what she was doing. And a lot of times, you know, everybody grown, so you can't always discourage your homegirl from, from doing nothing that she doing. But you don't have to be on the uh, welcome committee neither. And you don't have to be co-signing it neither when you know that she's out of pocket and she's moving wrong. And it's probably going to come back to her in some way, shape, or form. Right? And like I said, I'm talking about, I'm talking from experience. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of times I like to look back over my own stuff and say like, where did you go wrong with that? You know, like, how did you get to that point? What did you do? What could you have done better? What could you have remembered? You know what I'm saying? What could you have held close to your heart so that this didn't happen? So I ain't never, you know, like, judging nobody for doing whatever because a lot of times when I'm, you know, talking, I'm thinking about things that, hey, where I went wrong at and what I should have did and what I should not have. You know, how I should not have let my guard down when it came to this, that, or the third, you know. So, yeah, that 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 really just spoke to me with that. You know, yeah, just because you like them and y'all friends and you respect them, I don't mean you can trust them people, you know. And then a lot of times, you know, especially when it comes to certain things, like you know that your homegirl ain't good with money. Why are you disappointed when she not borrowed your money and she ain't gave it back to you? Why are you up and why your panties in a bunch? You know your homegirl ain't good with money. So why you even mad at her? When you gave it to her, you should have just gave it to her. Right? And not even been expecting it back because you know she had problems with money management. But instead, you would lose a whole friendship about money. When you already knew that the people had issues with money. Now, at some point, is that on them or is it on you? Yeah, they need to correct their issues with money. But had you not gave that person that money, you and them would still be friends. Now, since I can't give you no money because I know you have money issues. And I'm going to be mad about mine. Sometimes those are just the conversations you got to just have. You just got to be able to say that. Or just, if you ain't able to say that, then you just have to not have it. And you just have to, you know, that person gonna be like, I know she got it. I know she was lying. Okay, well, they know, but they don't, what they don't realize is that you're trying to save y'all friendship because you're gonna feel some kind of way when you give her that money knowing she ain't gonna give it back to you. And that's why I say, like, you could, you could, you could fill in that blank with any, any, anything, you know, and it all, it really seems so simple when you sit and think about it. But a lot of situations and circumstances could have been saved um, or a lot of feelings that got hurt could have been saved from being hurt had you just been more realistic about the situation and been more, more honest with yourself. You know, like how long are you going to stay mad with, with this person for for doing that? How long are you going to stay mad with... Um, you know him because you find out he was cheating on you. Well, his whole character has always said that he's a cheater. You have known him long enough to know that that's what he do. He cheat. His character does not say that he's um, an upstanding citizen. That he's trying to, you know, make a good life, do this, do this. His character don't say that. So why did you feel that when it came to you, he was going to be a different person for you? If that happened on your watch, fantastic. But the chances of it happening. Now, if God decided to do a, a, a new thing in his life while he with you, okay, wonderful, great. But if years down the road, this man show up and be the person that you've always seen him be. Why is that a surprise to you? Why let it torment you? Right? Because it's somebody that's going through some kind of hurt or pain or something. 
right? It, it's always somebody going through something. And if it ain't you, it may be your homegirl. And for me, when I think of, when I really get into really thinking about stuff, it's something that will make me not really hurt that much or be that angry. Because if this is just who you are, then it's not me. That's who you are. Right? Now, do I have to tighten up on my judgment calls or who I may, you know, give a certain status in my life? Yes. That's what I need to tighten up at. But I, I would be crazy to be around here beating myself up over a situation that that person was like that before they ever started dealing with me. How could she betray me? How could she, you know, how could she just, you know, we've been best friends for so long. Da, 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 da. But all while we was best friends, I seen you backstab your other homegirls. I just was was able to weather, weather the storm with you for the long the longest, and we probably told each other that you know we tighter than you and everybody else. But when when it came down to it, and and you did the same thing to me, why am I so broken about that? I been knew that's who you were. Mm -mm. At some point, we just have to get to the. To, to where we we operate using the good senses that we already have, right? Some things we already know. We are just not putting them into play. And then when things happen, then we feel like a victim. Whole time, no, baby, you're not no victim. You knew what you was dealing with. And then it comes back to the people that you choose to be around. But at the same time, like I say, this is a principle that applies to everybody. Because you ain't picking your parents. You ain't picking your siblings. But still, you know, how they could do that to me? Well, um, that's my mama. She should, your mama been putting stuff in your name since you was a five. And you probably found out about it at 10 and 11. So now that you 18, 21, it can't surprise you that she's still doing stuff like that. It can't surprise you. You know you can't trust her. It's sad but true. That's just the way it is. Your daddy been disappointing you since you was a little girl. Been telling you he coming, he ain't coming. Been saying he gonna send some money, he ain't sent the money. So now your car is three payments behind, and you reached out to him. He said he got you. You ain't heard from him in two weeks. I ain't never dealing with him no more. Why? Because you really, really needed it this time. You really, really needed it every time. Or your mama needed it. When you was little and he wasn't coming through for her. So we have to like, a lot of times we already had a blueprint to stuff. We already had a blueprint. We already know how, how people are. And if you don't know how they are because they somebody new in your life, you know the potential that people have. You do know that. So, yeah, you know, I just challenge y'all to use the good senses that you have. Remember what you know. Remember what you know already. So that when people show you a thing, it's not always a surprise. Or you don't act like it's a surprise, you know? Yeah. Just because you love them, just because you like them, just because they blood has nothing to do with whether or not you should be trusting them, whether or not you can trust them, whether or not, you know, you can trust them to a certain extent. Like, those are all the things that you have to think about. Because once they break that trust that you give them, that level of trust, that's what's going to make you feel like they betrayed you. You never thought they would. How could they? Y'all have a good day.